I don't think that's a fish. Oh, it is a fish. I got a fish. I got a fish. Yeah, it feels like a nice fish too. Now you're probably wondering, Kai, what the hell is this lure you're making? I mean, it's pretty squiggly, but this is a little jerk bait that is inspired by a Japanese lure maker called GPC Lures. And he makes a real big version in this shape that he uses as a top water stick bait for like giant trevally and tuna and kingfish and everything. These ones here, see how bendy they are? Pretty cute. It's like a, I don't know, 200 mil lure, like it's a big lure. And I thought that it would be an interesting shape to try out as a little jerk bait uh, for flathead and bream and all that other stuff, you know? So I'm gonna try it out. It's got a little lip on it. The one he makes doesn't have a lip. It's just gonna go bloop, bloop, bloop. I truly believe that if you're a lure maker who's just getting into it, 
it's really fine to be inspired by other people's work and even to copy other people's work because it actually gives you a good idea of shapes of the lure and profiling and where the weight is and lip angles and all sorts of things. Um, you know, just don't claim that design as your own and obviously don't sell them. That's just pretty poopy. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with looking at someone's design going, I'm going to try and make that and figure out how that works because it just gives you a good idea of lure making and the functionality of lures in certain shapes. Uh, the other thing is, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing really stylish goggles. It's because the wood dust is really making my freaking eyes itchy. Got a booger coming out of my nose. It's good for the camera. Class custom lures, raw and uncut. Boogers and all. Subscribe today. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel? Oh, hey guys. People would just say it so flawlessly, like, oh, hey guys, subscribe to my channel today. Be sure to like that like button and hit subscribe. I find it so awkward. And I was like, oh, yeah, uh, if you like what I did, please consider subscribing. I mean, who the hell is going to subscribe if I say, please consider? She'd be like, oi, yo, subscribe. Or I'll kick you in the nuts. Maybe that'll work more. Subscribe to my channel or I'll kick you in the nuts. My subscribers are definitely going to drop down after this video. Right, so this is sanded up. Good. Looking smick. Mick. Looking smick as mick. Subscribe to my channel or I'll kick you in the dick. I got a fill in this nasty hole. Got that nasty hole filled in with some super glue and wood dust. Now we got to clean it up. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> ah, that's better. Now you don't have to listen to the bird screeching. What do you think of my uh, makeshift workstation? Coffee table, bedside lamp, and my camp table. High tech stuff. There we go, just got that all smoothed back. Time for lead and hardware. Oh, that's not centered. Ugh. Had another blowout. Bloody hell. Let's just get this little ball sinker. Boop. And then I'll fill that in and fix the blowout again. Silly me. Nothing that super glue and wood dust can't fix. Where's my super glue? I don't know who invented super glue, but whoever you are, us lure makers, thank you. We owe you a lot. Oh, ah, oh, the nozzle's blocked. So I'm just putting super glue in and then dunking it in my jar of wood dust. Let that dry and then scrape it off. Too shabby, not too shabby. Off centered, but I didn't blow it out. A little bit out of practice. <laughs> oh no. I just drilled too far and drilled out the top. Now I gotta fill that hole in. I did it twice. So I gotta make the hardware, but I don't have a vise to uh, clamp the wire into. So I'm just gonna chuck it up. And then 
with my hole punch and hold that with my multi grips and then do this. And I wound it up too much. Let's start again. And there you have it. Perfectly good screwer. Now you may be thinking, Kai, geez, those hook hangers have big eyes on them. They look stupid. And you know what? You are right. But it's too late now. No, I don't mind it. It's not too bad. Damn. This is a Australian Red Cedar too, by the way. Look how silly those hook hangers look. This is a goofy looking lure. I like it. I like goofy things. It's bendy and it's got massive hook hangers. <laughs> All right, let's cut the lip out. My least favorite part. I just touched the razor blade and cut my finger again. It wouldn't be a Kai's custom lure video without an electrical tape band aid. There we go. That's better. Let's go see if we can make this little chode looking thing into a lip. I have achieved the unachievable. I have cut a lip that isn't absolutely terrible. And I th hope, genuinely hope, that it's going to be big enough to give this little some action. It might be a little bit small, but it is just a joke bait. <coughs> no, that should be good. Should be all right. She is. Should be all good, I reckon. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I just sh really struggle to work with polycarbonate. I think just because it, um, I don't know, just because I, I do. I'm just going to make up an excuse. Um, I think just because it, yeah. Yeah, I've got no reason. I just don't like working with um, <laughs> Yep, that's in there. Bit of glue. Bit of glue. Oh, that was a lot of glue. Shit. Oops. It's right. Is there even such a thing as too much super glue in lure making? I don't think so. It is the nectar of the lure maker. Oh, look at that, I've just half sealed it by wiping it off. Well, I might as well keep going then. Let's give it a super glue bath. Shit. Oh, that really grabbed on. I just dropped it and the lip didn't fall out. It's always a good sign. Oh, oh, I forgot it does that to you. <coughs> oh, yeah, that just burnt my brain.
All right, so I'm going to paint this fella by hand because my airbrush is out of action till this part comes and I want to fish it soon and not wait for the airbrush part. So just a black base and pretty much just going to use a whole bunch of different metallic colors. I'm not really going to say what I'm doing. I think I'm just going to paint and see how it turns out.
Do you reckon my painting looks like a toddler did it? <laughs> no. A smart, an advanced toddler. Look, show me. Right up. I got this guy under now, I don't want to screw it up again. <laughs> Toddler squiggles. <laughs> Pin it on the fridge. <laughs> No, that's fine. Shiver up. Shiver up. Don't worry about it. I'm sure the fish won't know. Oh, you never know. It actually looks really cool, like, from a distance, if you could. Yeah, from a eye. distance, if one eye. It's been really hard. It looks like some sort of electric... It's good for yeah. my self-confidence. <laughs> okay. I'm just joking. All right, so yeah, on the rocks at the bay down from my house, I've never fished here before. I have no idea what the structure's like out there. I looked shallow with little weedy bommies and there is a lot of oysters. So there's definitely gonna be brim around. Might be a salmon, tailor, who knows. Let's see what happens. Whee! Beautiful lava. It definitely swims, it's got a kick to it. It's got a great action. Get some action footage. <laughs> Just getting some action of it swimming. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but it swims good. This is always what you want with a lure. You want it to swim. It's only a little, so it doesn't cast very far in my little rod. That's all right. It does the bloops. Jack with the rod tip and it does the bloopies. That was such a tight shimmy. Great action on it. Good. Yeah, it does feel good. Looks really good. It's got a great action. Give it another cast. Go yeah, on. I might finish up around there on the sand where all those potty mullet were the other day. To fish. Yeah, it's pretty. A light coming through. Oh, Love it's it. nice. Just hitting those boats. Yeah, this isn't the most ideal flathead spot. <laughs> <laughs> There's more hoping for a bloody salmon. Or a tailor. Or a weed coffee. <laughs> Good old weed coffee. Yeah. A ring. Alright, let's move down a wee bit, eh? 
Look at these poor little oysters. Oh. Yeah, just did a me. Where did you go? I went that way with that big left stretch. <laughs> <laughs> and I pulled myself up. Or I could have just stepped across here. We all make mistakes. <laughs> I was worried about hurting the oysters, so I went the longest way around on the oysters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, they say the path to hell is paved with good intentions. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with the actual of this lure. It turned out great. Oh, little toadfish. Works really well on a slow retrieve, real tight shimmy and wobble. And I'm in a precarious position. And it also works really well as a jerk bait. It has a really great jerking action, just real tight kicks. There are fish from the beach there, there's a nice weed bank just in, off the beach on the low tide. I'm gonna go on the beach. Okay. There's a little, well, first of all, there's sand there. Flathead like sand. And there's a little beet weed bank they might be sitting along. Don't think that's a fish. Oh, it is a fish. I got a fish. I got a fish. Yeah, it feels like a nice fish too. Feels like a very nice fish. <laughs> I think it's a flatty. He's crunched it on the jerk. As they always do. Oh, it's a nice little flatty. They got really light gear, so Alicia's all excited. What is it? Flatty. I gotta get him in first. It's a nice fish. It's a nice flathead. <laughs> Very nice flathead. Like very, very nice. Probably 50s. I've only got six pound line, so playing it slowly. I've hooked him on top of the head. Oh, he's sitting in the sand. I think he's hooked well, which is good. What's that? I am, I'm just gonna take it slowly. I've only got really light line. It's a pretty. It's, I've only got light line. I just got to walk him in. He's a big fish. Yeah. yeah well, he's a good size flatty, and he's 50 centimeters. Oh. I hope the GoPro is recording. Yeah, in the world. <laughs> frothing. It's a very nice fish. My first flatty in the in my new home. Just slowly walking him back. Oh, my leader is so close to his gill rakers. Six pound, and he'll slice through that in one move. Keep his head down. It's coming towards me. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Oh, I need you to, can you film this for me? Once I get him in.
It's a Kraken flathead. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Yum. No, it's just too big. Too big? Anything over like 50 is pretty much a female guaranteed. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. What a beast. It's the best flathead I've caught in a long time. <laughs> Where are I guess you're filming on the GoPro. What a beast, eh? That's a solid, solid flathead. What a beast. Smash the jerk bait on the sand flats off the beach. That's the best flathead I've caught in ages. Hooked her right in the corner of the mouse. Look at that, it's popped out. Right, let's get it back. Thank you for filming. Look at that, what a beautiful fish. I'm sorry that I got you all sandy. It wasn't very nice of me. There she goes. That was a beautiful fish. I was not expecting that. There is a little weed bed out there. I thought something could have been sitting there and really shallow sandbank, but I was not expecting that dusky flathead. Ooh, just stood on a crab. That was awesome. Awesome fight on six pound. Just crunch that jerk bait. Jerk baits are my favorite lures to fish for the flathead. I just use that real aggressive twitch. And I always get really good aggressive reaction strikes from them. Let's have him find another one before it goes dark. That was awesome. All right, well, turned out great. So, you know, even though it looks like it was painted by a 27 year old toddler, the lure worked fantastic. It had the perfect jerk bait action and a real tight wobble and shimmy on the straight retrieve. And it caught me that beautiful, beautiful flathead. Like that was a nice size flatty. Beautiful dusky flathead. But yeah, I'm stoked with it. I went for a fish again this morning. Um, no luck though. I tried a new spot. I spooked with like a whole bunch of flathead. They're sitting right next to me and just gone. And then after that, I was fishing in a different spot. And then a whole bunch of kids decided just to throw rocks in the water around me. It wasn't the best, but stoked with how this lure works. You know, I don't think the hump in the back really affects the design at all. It's more just for, more for show, more for aesthetics, really. It doesn't really affect the action, but it looks cool. And just mimic the dying potty mullet or bait fish perfectly. I mean, it just goes to show that, you know, it doesn't really matter what your bait looks like or your lure looks like. Uh, action is everything. If it has the right action, it could just be, you know, plain timber, as a lot of lures are, and it will catch fish. So don't be too worried if your lures don't look as good as all these amazing artists out there on on social media and everything, all these incredible lure makers who have just the perfect, perfect art form, like down to a T. You know, just be yourself and do what feels good to you and do your best and just progress slowly and learn and just be happy with progress as you go. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll have a bunch more videos coming out soon with me making lures and catching fish. I'm gonna try my best to catch a lot more fish on this channel of the lures I make. Just makes it more funner instead of just making a lure and then just not doing anything with it. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Got that nasty hole filled in with some super glue and wood dust. <coughs> oh. Let's go see if we can make this little chode looking thing into a lip. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yep, that just burnt my brain. <laughs>